Good morning, Junior uh, Five. Let's start to complete uh, our lesson, which is called the soil. Okay. Yesterday we talk about the soil, and we know the definition of the soil. What is the meaning of the soil? What is the meaning of the soil? Soil, it's a thin, non-compacted upper layer. Soil, it's a thin, non-compacted upper layer, which covers the Earth's crust, which covers the Earth's crust. <laughs> and we know the, the components of the soil. So the soil components are pieces of rocks, water, silt, air, and humus. And also, also we know that the definition of the humus, what is the meaning of the humus? The humus, it's a decayed remains of animals and plants. Decayed remains animals or plants, okay? Mix it with the soil components and is uh, its color is dark brown, dark brown or black. Okay. Now we will talk about the the soil number three, the soil layers and the living organisms. The soil layers. The soil layers, the layers of the soil. Soil, it consists of three layers. The soil consists of three layers. Three layers, which is called what? Number one, top soil layer. It's a top soil layer, okay? This is a top soil layer. Number two, Lower solid uh, soil layers, lower soil layers. So it consists of three layers. The soil consists of three layers. Number one, top. Number two, lower. Lower lie beneath or under the top soil layer. Number three, called the rocky soil layer. It's the third one. The third layer, it's called of uh, uh, called rocky layers. The rocky layers. Let's start with number one, the top soil layers. The top soil layer, they contains roots of the plants like this. They contains the roots of the plants. All of these are top soil layer, all these layers are called top soil layers. It contains roots of the plants, the roots of the plants, also contains leaves of the plants, if the leaves fall from the tree, leaves of the plants, and also containing the living organisms like earthworms, like insects, like ants, any earthworm dig tunnels inside the top soil layer. So the soil consists of three layers. Consists of three layers. Number one, top soil layer. Number two, lower soil layer. Number three, rocky soil layer. Number one, top soil layers contains what? It consists of what? Consists of roots of the plants, contains leaves of the plants, if the leaves fall from the trees or the grass or any plant, also contains the living organisms like earthworms, like ants, like insects, any the small insects live in that topsoil layer. And contains also the humus layer, the humus layer, the decayed remains of animals and plants. 
after the animals or plants or parts of animals or parts of the plants the, uh, uh, die when the living organisms die and then mix it with the soil components each component mix it with the soil components so it will form the humus layer after decaying their bodies they form the humus layer so the humus layer or the top soil layer contains also humus okay and also it consists of small pieces of rocks small pieces small stones can be found can be found in the top soil layers so again the top soil layer consists of or contains the roots of the plants leaves falling from the plant or leaves of the plants also contains earthworms or insects or small animals live that live inside the soil and contain also the humus layer after the, the, the uh, dying this after the living organisms die uh, their body decay it formed the humus layer and pieces can be found in the pieces of rocks small pieces of rocks number two the lower soil layer the lower soil layers contains what they lie beneath beneath means under need mean under under the top soil layer top lower and the last one called the rocky soil layer the lower soil layers lie under the top soil layer they don't have much humus they don't have much humus the humus layer contains in the top soil layer only but in the lower soil layer they don't have much humus all of this the new five uh, uh, this picture this is the the soil layers from here from this the brown uh, uh, color here to here this is the this is the top soil layer um, you must top soil layer and subsoil this is the soil layers okay but this is the lower soil layer they don't have much humus they don't have humus okay and this is the rocky soil layer the rocky soil layers so the humus layers contains or found in the top soil layer number three the rocky layers the rocky layers the rocky layers they consist of two layers the upper layer the upper layer of the rocky layers contains pieces of rocks like this it contains pieces of rocks small pieces small pieces of rocks but the lower layer contains solid blocks, solid rocks, big stones. So the rock, the rocky layer, this is the rocky layer. The, the brown, the uh, faint brown, this, and this is the gray color. This is the rocky soil layer. The rocky soil layer, the, its upper layer, the upper layer contains a small pieces of rocks, pieces of rocks, pieces of stones. But the under or the lower layer contains solid rocks, contains big stones or heavy stones. So again, the layers of the, the layers of the soil, it consists of three layers, top soil layer, top soil layer and lower soil layer and rocky soil layers the top soil layers contains leaves of the plants contains the roots of the plants and also contains earthworms and ants and small animals like uh, ants or spiders 
and contains humus layer after decaying the living organisms they contained or they uh, uh, found or they became became the humus layers and also can be uh, uh, pieces of rocks can be found pieces of rocks can be found in the top soil layer. number two the lower soil the lower soil layer lower soil layers they lie under the top soil layer they don't have much humus because this is the subsoil or the lower soil layers they don't have much humus and the last one is called the rocky layers rocky layers upper layer contains small pieces of rocks but the lower layers contains solid rocks contains big stones okay now we will talk about the each part of the top soil layer each part of the top soil layer number one the top soil layers the top soil layers contains roots of plants contain the roots of the plants the roots of the plants they extend extend deeply in the soil in the top soil layer they lie deeply deep in the top soil layers there is an importance for the roots of the plants to the plant and also their importance for soil the roots of the plants have two importance roots of the plants have two importance importance for the plants benefit the plants from what and importance for the soil they benefit the soil to what or help the soil to what the roots of the plants their importance for the plants they help the plants to take the water and minerals from the soil and food and the nutrients from the soil any plant the plants consists of roots roots extend deeply inside the soil to take to absorb the water and minerals to absorb the water and food from the soil to the plants grow up to make or to help the plant to grow up and also they fix the plant in the soil if there is no roots inside the soil the plant will die will move why because the roots of the plants fix the plants inside the soil they are little separate plants inside the soil and prevent it from falling down and prevent it from falling down so the top soil layer contains number one the roots of the plants roots of the plants their importance for the plant they benefit the, the plants or to help the plants to what to take the water and the food to take the water and the nutrients from the soil and also fix the plant inside the soil they fix the plant inside the soil very important for the soil they help the soil to be cohesive what does it mean by the why cohesive cohesive, uh, cohesive means not loose or not uh, 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 non compacted so they help the soil to be cohesive and they prevent the soil erosions prevent the soil erosions prevent the soil taking erosions or damage by running water by wind by change in the temperature and also they provide the soil with nutrients and they are converted into humus after death after the plants or this roots death they prevent or they add nutrients because the humus layers add nutrients to the soil 
So after dying, the living organisms, they converted into mucus layer, so they add nutrients to the soil. So the importance of the roots of the plants, they have two importance. Important for the plants because they take the water and the minerals and fix the plant inside the soil. And also their importance for the soil, they add nutrients. They add nutrients to the soil because after dying these roots of the plant or any part of the plant, it converted convert into a humus layer, so they add nutrients. They help the soil to be cohesive and prevent from the soil erosions or from the soil damage. Number two, the top soil layer, I said that the top soil layer contains also the leaves of the plants. Leaves of the plants. They are part of the plants. After falling the leaves of the plants from the tree, they existed on the top soil layers. Existed in the top, like this. They existed in the top soil layers. Then they mix it together, mix it with the soil components, mix it with the soil components. And also after decaying the leaves of the plants, they form the humus layer or they convert it into humus layers. So they add nutrients also to the soil. Number three, the top soil layers also contains the earthworms and some spiders. They contain earthworms and some spiders. They contain earthworms and some spiders. The earthworms, the soil is considered the shelter or the home for earthworms. All the worms or any small animals, insects, ants, spiders, earthworms, any small animals, they contain the, the home, the home for them in the soil. The soil is considered the home or the shelter for the earthworms or the spiders because they make homes inside the soil by digging tunnels, by digging tunnels inside the soil, underground the soil or inside the top soil layer. What is the importance of the soil? What is the importance of the earthworm and the spiders for the soil? They add one, add what? They help the soil to what? They dig tunnels. They dig canals or tunnels, canals or tunnels, okay? So they allow the water to reach to the root of the plant. After watering the plant, the, the water reach to the root of the plants inside the canals or the tunnels that the earthworms digging them. So the importance of the soil, the importance of earthworms to the soil, they dig tunnels or canals inside the soil that allow the water and air and also the nutrients, the food, to reach to the roots of the plants. To reach to the roots of the plants. So they help the plants to grow up, to reach the, the water and nutrients and air to reach the roots of the plants. Okay? The last one is ants and other insects. Also, the ants or other insects, the small insects like ants or uh, spiders or uh, bug, uh, ladybug, any small animals, they dig tunnels inside the soil. They dig tunnels inside the soil to make the nests and then lay eggs. To make the nests 
and then lay the eggs. What is, what is the importance of the ant or the other insects? What adds to the soil? They add to the soil the humus layer. After dying these ants, after the ants or the, 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 the small insects, other insects die, their bodies decay, then they forming the humus layer. So the forming the humus layer. Okay, now we, we finish lesson number one. Uh, next session, inshallah, we will talk about the lesson number two. Okay, the uh, session Gaya had on the Arba Wednesday. Wednesday, yes. Wednesday, but we are Wednesday. The day is done. We are going to be ready. Inshallah, we are going to be the Arba that follows. Oh, the Arba that is the Arba and the fifth and the seventh are done. عيد سعيد عليكم يا رب الاربع هيكون الوينزداي اجازه الاربع والخميس طبعا العيد فالاربع والخميس الجايين دول مش هنشتغل هيكون الاربع والخميس اللي بعدهم ان شاء الله نخلص فيهم لسن تو اوكي يو هاف هوم ورك جينير فايف ويت You have homework uh, uh, worksheet number eight. Worksheet number eight, uh, page 14 and 15. Okay, page 14 and 15. And worksheet number nine. Worksheet number uh, eight and nine. Okay, goodbye, junior five.